हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सिविल साइन जीरो फाइव आई हैव टॉप वन फिफ्टी क्वान्टिटी सर्वेइंग इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन इन आंसर फॉर फ्रेशर जॉब फॉर फ्रेशर क्वान्टिटी सर्वेयर एन कंस्ट्रक्शन एस्टिमेटिंग एन कस्ट कंट्रोल दिस इज द पार्ट वन एंड वी विल बी लर्निंग वर टू फोर्टी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एन आंसर दिस टाइप्स ऑफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन यू विल नेवर गेट एंड नो वन कैन शेयर विद यू सो प्लीज डोंट मिस द अपॉर्चुनिटी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वट इज कंस्ट्रक्शन एस्टिमेटिंग एंड कास्ट कंट्रोल द आंसर इज कंस्ट्रक्शन एस्टिमेटिंग एंड कास्ट कंट्रोल रिफर टू द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्रिडिक्टिंग एंड मैनेजिंग द कास्ट ऑफ ए कंस्ट्रक्शन प्रोजेक्ट फ्रॉम इट्स एंडसेप्शन टू कंप्लीशन सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज वट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन एस्टिमेट्स The answer is there are several types of construction estimates including preliminary estimates conceptual estimates detailed estimate and bid estimates Third question what is a preliminary estimates The answer is a preliminary estimates is a rough estimate that is made early on in the planning process of to provide a general idea of a project's costs It is based on limited information and is subject to change as more detailed information becomes available. For number question, what is a conceptual estimates? The answer is a conceptual estimate is a rough estimate that is made during the planning and design phase of a project. It is used to determine the feasibility of the project and to set a budget five number question what is detailed estimates the answer is a detailed estimate is a comprehensive estimate that includes all of the cost associated with a with a construction project it is based on detailed plans and specifications and it is used to create a budget to develop an a construction schedule Next question is what is a bid estimate The answer is a bid estimate is an estimate that is prepared by a contractor in the response to a request for proposal RFP it is used to determine the cost of the project and to submit a bid to the owner Seven number question what is a unit price The answer is a unit price is the cost of a single unit of of a particular item or service such as a cubic yard of concrete or an hour of labor. Eight number questions what is a lump sum contract? The answer is a lump sum contract is a type of con- construction contract in which the contractor agrees to complete the project for a fixed price. Nine number question what is a cost plus contract the answer is a cost plus contract is a type is a type of construction contract in which the owner agrees to pay the contractor for the actual cost of the project plus a fee for overhead and profit ten number question what is a time and material contract the answer is a time and material contract is a type is a type of construction a contract in which the owner agrees to pay the contractor for the actual cost of the project plus a fee for overhead and profit as well as for the uh, for the time and material used eleven number questions what is the difference between direct cost and and indirect cost The answer is direct cost or cost that are directly related to the construction of the project such as the materials labor and equipment indirect cost or cost that are not directly directly related to the construction of the project such as office expenses and insurance 12 number questions what is the difference between fixed cost and variable cost The answer is fixed cost are cost that do not change with the level of production such as rent and insurance variable cost are cost 
that change with the level of production such as material and labor 13 number question what is the difference between a contingency reserve and a management reserve the answer is a contingency reserve is a reserve of funds that is set aside to cover unforeseen expenses that may arise during the course of the project a management reserve is a reserve of funds that is set aside to cover changes in the scope of the project or other management issues 14 number question what is change order order the answer is a change order is a document that outlines a change in the scope of the project or change in the contract price it is used to formally request and approve changes to the original contract 15 number question what is a request for information rfi the answer is a request for information rfi is a formal request for information about the project such as specifications and or drawings it is used to clarify information in a resolve issues 16 number questions what is a request for quotation rfq the answer is a request for quotation rfq is a document that is used to solicit quotes from supplier for material or services uh, 17 number question what is a request for proposal rfp the answer is a request for proposal rfp is a document that is used to solicit bids from contractors for a con construction project 18 number questions what is a bill of quantities boq the answer is a bill of quantity boq B boq is a document that lists all of the materials labors and equipment required for a construction project along with their quantities and prices 19 number question what is a work breakdown structure vbs the answer is a work breakdown structure vbs is a hierarchical decomposition of the project scopes into smaller and more manageable components it is used to organize and define the project's work scope 20 number question what is earned value management evm the answer is earned value management evm is a project management technique that is used to measure the progress and performance of a project it compares the actual work completed with the planned work to determine the project's current status 21 number question what is what is value engineering the answer is value engineering is a systematic approach to improving the value of a project by analyzing the fun the, the function of its components and reducing their costs while maintaining or improving their performance 22 number question what is life cycle costing the answer is life cycle costing is a method of estimating the total cost of a project over its entire life cycle including the cost of construction maintenance and disposal 23 number question what is sustainability the answer is sustainability refers to the ability of a project to meet the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs 22 number 24 number question what is green building the answer is green building is the practice of designing and constructing buildings in a way that is environmentally responsible and resource efficient 25 number question what is a building code the answer is a building code is a set of regulations that governs the design construction and maintenance of buildings to ensure public safety and welfare 26 number question what is permit the answer is a permit is a legal document that is required before construction can begin it is issued by 
the government agency and certifies that the project compa- complies with all applicable law and the regulations. Uh, 27 number question what is bonding the answer is bonding is the process of obtaining a surety bond which is a types of insurance that guarantees that the contractor will complete the project according to the contract terms 28 number question what is insurance the answer is insurance is a form of risk management that protects the owner and the contractor from financial loss due to unforeseen events such as accidents or natural disasters. 29 number question what is a warranty? Warranty. The answer is a warranty is a guarantee that the materials and workmanships of construction project will meet specified standards for a certain period of time. 30 number questions. What is a punch list? The answer is a punch list is a list of items that need that needs to be completed or corrected before the project can be considered finished. It is typically created near the end of the construction phase. 31 number question what is a change directive? The answer is a change directive is a document that authorizes a change to the project scope or contract price before a formal change order can be issued. 32 number question was what is a line? The answer is, the answer is a line is a legal claim against a, a property that is used to secure payment for work done on the property. 33 number question what is a construction loan? The answer is a construction loan is a short term loan that is used to finance the construction of a project. It is typically re- repaid with the proceeds from a permanent mortgage. 34 number question what is a cost estimator? The answer is the answer is a cost estimator is a professional who specializes estimating the cost of construction projects. 35 number question what is a project manager? The answer is a project manager is a professional who is responsible for planning, executing and monitoring a construction project. 36 number question what is a quantity surveyor? The answer is a quantity surveyor is a professional who specializes in measuring and measuring and estimating the quantities of materials and labor required for a construction project. 37 number question What is a subcontractor? The answer is a subcontractor is a person or company that is hired by the prime contractor to perform a specific part of the construction work. 38 number question What is a prime contractor? The answer is a prime contractor is the main contractor who is responsible for the overall management of construction project. 39 number question what is a cost control system? The answer is a cost control system is a system that is used to monitor and control the cost of a construction project. It includes it includes procedures for, for identifying and controlling cost overruns. 40 number question what is a chain man- management system? The answer is a chain management system is a system that is used to manage changes to the project scope or contract price. It includes procedure for submitting, reviewing and approving change orders.